uh, now the next step is to draft an outline so when you draft an outline that gives you a structure to follow uh, when you start to write your assignment so you are going to have a definite structure if you draft an outline as I had already mentioned that you should check the marks allotted for each and every question or each and every section and that is going to help you understand how the teacher expects the topic to be structured. So when you know the marks, you can structure the outline in a very specific manner. Uh, so that uh, you are so that your assignment is worth the most marks so as you can see the word essay essay outline so most of the assignments will have to do our essays which generally follow the same basic structure so if it is a uh, if it is an essay assignment so you can just follow this structure that you can see on the screen so the first portion of the assignment includes introduction so 10% of the assignment should be the introductory part where you write about the topic you give an introduction about the topics and the main points and you know explain about the purpose of the assignment so it is a good idea to write the introduction at last so that you know what to include and what are the things that you need to exclude the next part is the discussion that is the body of your assignment which includes 80% of the assignment. So this section is basically divided into a number of paragraphs or points. Uh, so now decide what are the points that you want to discuss or include in each and every section or in each and every paragraph. So a paragraph can usually start with a topic or a sentence stating the main idea and which can be followed by any supporting evidence or you can also provide certain kind of examples. The last part of the assignment is the conclusion which is again 10% of the assignment. So restate your main argument, uh, evaluate your ideas and uh, summarize your conclusion. So basically you need to summarize everything and include that in your conclusion. So, so basically this is the structure of mostly of every assignment uh, especially of essays that you uh, are going to write so the next step or the fourth step is to find certain information find information so before you start to write you need to research about the topic as I had already mentioned so you need to find relevant and reliable information you need to find specific and relevant information about the subject or the topic of the assignment uh, how are you going to get those information? You can get those information in your, you know, books that, uh, in your books uh, or any, you know, recommended readings or you can also try your college library. You can also, you know, uh, talk to experts or you can also take the help of online sources.